In this video, we are going over five pro footballers that all wingers should watch. I'm going to give you each one of them, why you should be paying attention to these wingers, and what you can do to start playing more like them. That's coming up next. Being obsessed with football doesn't mean just playing it. It also means staying up to date on results, transfers, and everything else going on in the world of football. To make sure I never miss out, I use the free app OneFootball. With OneFootball, you can keep up on all of the recent football news stories, results, and especially transfer and news rumors. I will be using it extensively during the World Cup to keep up with results and to hear all the news going around. Use the link down below in the description to download OneFootball now. Let's get into the video. What's up guys, Dave here from Simply Soccer, where we are helping you to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. And we do that by releasing weekly soccer tip, technique, and training videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. So today I want to give you five wingers that I really recommend that all wingers and wide players learn from. Now these are not necessarily going to be the best wingers in the world, although many of them are up there with the best. Uh, so you may not see a Neymar or Messi, for example, even though they're not necessarily wingers, uh, so to speak, but you will learn about some other players that I really think you should be watching, and all of the players I'm going over are high-profile players. So number one is Ian Robin, and I always recommend this guy because he's such a traditional winger. In fact, you don't get many wingers like him these days, the, the kind of guy who likes to stay out wide and cut inside all the time um, to score goals, to put teammates in, or to cut out wide and put in dangerous balls into the box. Robin is one of the best in the world when it comes to one-on-one -on -one situations, when it comes to cutting inside, and when it comes to curling the ball either to the near or back post and getting a lot of goals from himself from a wide position. Wingers seem to be getting more and more central these days, but Robin really maintains that very traditional winger role of getting balls into the box or cutting inside himself and scoring. And so I really recommend anyone who wants to be an effective winger, learn from him, watch him and emulate him because he's got so much you can learn from. Number two is the breakout player of the last season, which is Mohamed Salah. Now, sure, in Liverpool's system, they don't really play too many wingers. It's a very fluid system, but you'll find that Salah starts out on the wide right for most of the game, and then will roam around from there. But a lot of the time, he will make himself wide um, or available out wide and then cut inside or put teammates in on goal. Being in these positions, especially when Liverpool counter, allows him to use his blistering speed in order to beat opponents, and he will then use his skill and close control in order to beat opponents in closer quarters. One thing about Salah that doesn't get talked about as much as some of the other things like his goal scoring, his ability one-on-one, -on -one, his dribbling and all that, is his ability to find space and the amazing runs he will make in the match. One run in particular to use as an example is the run he used against Roma to score his second goal um, where he made a run across the back line through the middle and then chipped Allison the keeper and this is the kind of run you want to be making all the time as a winger from out wide quickly bursting towards the center and putting yourself back in on goal and Salah is a fantastic player for you wide men to study not just because of his goal scoring and his skill but also because of his ability to make runs and use his speed effectively out wide. Number three is another guy who plays a more traditional winger role, although he can play in many different positions, and it's Gareth Bale. And again, this guy is someone who knows that he's fast, knows he has skill, and will use it to full advantage or to his advantage. You will find him out wide all the time so that he can isolate whatever defender is on him and run directly at him so that he can whip in a cross or go towards goal himself. I honestly think Gareth Bale is probably the best striker of a football in world football. If he's not, he's at least in the top five. This guy knows how to strike the ball. I mean, if you watched him at Tottenham before he moved to Real Madrid, some of the bangers this guy would score were unbelievable, where he'd cut in from the right, fake out the defender, create just enough space, and then just whip it to the back post or crush it into the goal. 
One reason I think Bale is a great example of a player that you should watch often is you can see how he uses his strengths to his advantage. And this is something I always recommend players do and I go on all the time about, but you need to use what you're good at to your advantage. Bale knows that he's quicker than most players and so he gets out wide and isolates himself so that he can use that to his advantage. He knows he's an incredible striker of the ball, so he uses that to his advantage by cutting inside or whipping in dangerous crosses. And he knows that he he can beat players one-on-one -on -one, so once again he makes sure he gets into those types of positions all the time and as a winger you want to be doing the same thing you want to amplify your strengths and demonstrate your strengths while try to keep yourself away from your weaknesses you won't see Bale for example cut onto his right foot that often because it's nowhere near as strong as his left but you will see him all the time trying to get the ball onto his left so that he can whip it across or shoot on target himself Number four is Eden Hazard. Now, I know Hazard has been in a more central role these days as Conte has kind of switched up his role in the Chelsea team, but who knows, maybe Hazard will go back to a more wide position now that there's a new manager coming in from or to Chelsea. Now, Hazard may be playing more centrally, but he definitely still likes to get out wide and run at people. And again, it's because he knows his strengths. He knows that no matter what, he's going to be able to beat the opponent that tries to close him down or takes him on. Hazard is one of the trickiest players I've ever seen. You know, outside of maybe Messi or Salah um, recently, I haven't seen a player who can just beat three or four players in tight space as well as Hazard. It almost seems impossible to get the ball off him sometimes because just as you think you're gonna get it, he'll just take it right away from you. Now, one thing I really like that Hazard would do when he played more wide is he would come in centrally even when he was supposed to be out wide and he would do this to draw defenders to him. And one thing that Hazard is so good at is being able to turn his man. He would come a little more centrally, check to the ball, and as the defender is closing him down, he would time it just perfectly to spin away from the defender. And if you watch any Hazard compilation video, you will see him do this multiple times in the video. His touch, turn, and speed is so great that almost every time he would check the ball from a central position to open up more space for himself and had a guy following him trying to close him down so that he wouldn't get the ball he would just spin away from them and this is a great skill I think any player should have it's great for wingers to have to get away from people who try and mark you very tight which is going to happen a lot if you're playing as a winger so I definitely recommend watching Hazard do this and learning how to do it yourself. Finally, number five is Sadio Mane, and you might be thinking, come on, Dave, two Liverpool players in the same video, you're clearly biased. And yes, yes I am, it's my channel, I get to make the choice. But anyway, I've chosen Mane because, not just because he's a Liverpool player, but he has been sensational over the last year as well. He may have been overshadowed a bit by Salah, who's had the season of his life, but Sadio Mane also had an incredible season, and he's another player that is a very, very traditional type winger. Although he plays in a very three-pronged attack in the Liverpool system, you will find him most times out wide, taking people on, Beating people with skill moves like putting Otamende on the ground against Man City, and he's also a very big goal scoring threat. When Sadio Mane is on his game, he's one of the most dangerous players in the world, and I will stand by that statement. Maybe because he doesn't play for Real Madrid or Barcelona, not enough people know about him or know how good this guy is, but take it from someone who's been watching him week in and week out, this guy is fantastic, and anyone who's a winger or a wide man and wants to learn how to play that position incredibly well, take a look at Sadio Mane. One of the things I love about him is he is so direct. He is not afraid to run at anyone. He's not afraid to take people on. And he's very good at knowing when to do it and when to hold back. All right, guys. So those are five pro footballers that all wingers should watch. What are some other wingers that you believe wide players should watch? There are so many out there. I couldn't include any of them. But let me know of some that may not be as well known as some of the guys I listed here because there are a lot of underrated wingers. Put them down in the comments below so that everyone can see them. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and share it. And let me know what position you want me to cover next. So far, we've gone striker and wingers. Let me know what you want next. It can be very specific or very broad like wingers and strikers is. It could be target man. It could be center defensive mid. Just let me know in the comments. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share it as well. And I will see you in the next one.